Hello my friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Our video today will be an experimental project to see if we can actually build a simplified spot welder using only a supercapacitor bank. So supercapacitors are high power density um, and low energy density devices and that means that you can easily store and quickly uh, store some energy in a supercapacitor bank and discharge them also rapidly. So that means that you can actually draw a lot of current that you can use to uh, do uh, spot welding, at least in theory. And a lot of things play a role, which is how much uh, capacitors you have you know, how the size of your capacitor bank or um, a, and how fast you can charge them or how fast you can keep the charge going as you're doing your welds. So in this video today and in this project we are going to investigate some of that. Uh, luckily I have uh, a few capacitors here that I'm not using. I've had them for a while so I'm going to put them to a test to see if they will be enough. So yeah, um, let's get to it and see if this project will, will work or if it will fail. And we know that there are other things that controls that go into an actual properly designed spot water. I know that for a fact because I've actually built one. So this is just a, a quick experiment, a quick uh, weekend fun experiment to see uh, what we can get and I hope in the end everybody will find this inter interesting and uh, possibly uh, uh, learn something from it. Let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is to look at the com components that we're going to use. So what we are seeing here is 2.7 volts 500 farad capacitors, ultra capacitors. Or some people call them super capacitors and uh, for those capacitors we will need to protect them because we will have uh, some of them in series so we will need the protection circuit to make sure that they don't uh, overcharge uh, when we are charging them so the protection circuit will keep them below 2.5 volts for each one so and then as I mentioned, these are all the uh, super caps that I have and the connection of the build is really simple. So all you have to do is positive to positive on the protection circuit and negative to negative uh, between the protection circuit and the actual super cap. So yeah, so that's what we are looking at here. So the next thing that we uh, also need will be the DC to DC bulk converter. This we will uh, we'll use to step down the voltage or tune down the voltage from our power supply. And this is a 14 volt uh, power supply from an old laptop. And uh, so the DC to DC converter will be used to adjust the voltage down to five volts. Again, as I said, this is going to be a simple build going from our converter to the, uh, to the uh, super caps. So this is an overlay overview of everything. So up on the left, we have the converter, sorry, the power supply. Then go in from there, it feeds into the DC to DC boost converter, DC to DC bulk converter, and now we use them to charge the uh, supercapacitor bank. Again, as I mentioned, we need to make sure that we protect them, uh, each capacitor, because the actual build I will have two, uh, I will use four supercapacitors. Two will be in parallel to each other. Then, then I will now connect each bank in series so that that way when I charge them, um, I will be able to charge them up to 5 volts. 
Again, the protection circuit is used to make sure that each bank does not exceed 2.5 volts. And uh, this is really, really important. I've seen a lot of people build uh, supercapacitor banks on YouTube videos and they don't protect them and they, they can have three or four in series. You're, you're not supposed to do that because you can have your capacitors explode on you. Because what happens is even though you have uh, you have them in series and you're charging them up to 5 volts, one cap bank may exceed the voltage rating. So the, the rating on each one of these is 2.7 volts. You don't want to exceed that. So if you don't protect them, what will happen is you can have one bank that wants to charge up to 3 volts or 3.5 volts and the other one is under charging. So that could uh, cause that one that is overcharging to explode. So yeah, so what you can see there is this is the build and you can see how I link them in series, two banks in parallel and, uh, and uh, now connect them in, in series through the, the jumper there. So what I'm doing now is to add the, the world probes and, uh, and that's pretty much it. The only thing left at this stage will be to add the, the um, to actually hook up the DC, DC buck converter to, to charge, to, to keep the charge going as I'm doing some welding. Yeah, but yes, that's, uh, that shows the jumper that connects each uh, supercapacitor bank and then that's the world probes. Now what I have to do here is to make sure before connecting the buck converter you want to adjust it to make sure that you know what voltage you are setting it to. So I set it to about 4.5 volts just to be on the safe side. Then now connect the, uh, the buck converter to the supercapacitor bank. So now it's charging time you can see and this was uh, this portion of the video was fast forwarded so it is not really charging this fast so it took about a minute or so to charge fully now after it has charged fully all we're doing when we're doing our weld is just you every time you weld you deplete it a little bit and it charges back up it should be faster it should not take a minute so here yeah here is over overall build going from the power supply to the uh, DC to DC bulk converter then go into the supercapacitor bank, that's it. And then we have our uh, welding probes or welding uh, cables of course. So yeah, uh, so the next thing that we're going to do will now be to actually uh, test out the welding process to see what we get. Yeah, but this is really neat and nice and uh, all done from materials I had before. So now let's get to the welding portion. So the first thing I tried to do was to actually uh, weld a nickel strip to the body of a battery, a uh, 32700 battery that I had. And let's see how that goes. So it's not looking like it's sticking. Yeah, it's not uh, uh, doing what I, well, it's actually, it's actually doing what I had, I had uh, thought it would do because this is not uh, how a spot welder should function. Um, you have to be able to control the weld pulse and make sure you have the right energy. So, um, yeah. So the next thing is to try to weld uh, two nickel strips together to see what we get, to see if we actually get a good weld. And um, yeah, it looks like it is welding, but uh, I don't know if it's, it's gonna stick. If you're able to pull it apart after welding easily, then you know that uh, your welding is not uh, you, you didn't have a proper weld. Also, you're not supposed to have that much of a burn on the weld. Yeah, so let's see what happens. 
here as you can see it's just coming apart I'm not even making an effort so yeah it doesn't seem to uh, maybe I need more super capacitors and uh, but one thing it, it, it did well was you know I was able to play with it and have some fun with it um, basically do some light shows with it um, yeah that's the much you could do so I would say that this uh, this concept doesn't quite work well it's this experiment uh, even though I learned something from it and I hope you, you you also picked up some things from it but it's not the best way to build a spot welder uh, maybe you can increase your even if, even if you increase your supercapacitor bank you still need some you know control electronics there to make sure that you're controlling your world pulses a uh, spot welder is not something you build i've seen a lot of people do this on youtube and uh, those projects are very misleading it's not how you're supposed to build a spot welder if you are interested in building a spot welder you may want to check out my video that i we actually took the time to design a spot welder and control the pulses with an arduino uh, a controller and an actual uh, power transformer Please check out the video, the video and uh, maybe you can uh, uh, and let me know if you have any questions leave me comments down below and uh, I'll be glad to help yeah that was it and I hope this uh, you got some entertainment or some fun from watching this video uh, please uh, share the share our video subscribe to help our channel and the YouTube algorithm uh, thank, thanks again for watching.